Good day to you. Welcome back to Snakes Alive Zambia, where our mission is to educate the Zambian people and others. Recently, we showcased the unobtrusive, mildly venomous but harmless to humans, Shreve's nocturnal tree snake, a graceful and slow-moving arboreal snake. We learned that it is known to occur high in the trees of the gallery forests of northern and the northwestern Zambia. This week's news flash showcases the often confusing green or bush snakes. Relatively small but agile snakes that tend to frequent bushes and low trees and are seen mainly during the wet season. Green or bush snakes are represented in Zambia by four distinct species. The Angolan or western green snake, the variegated or spotted bush snake, the green water snake, the ornate green snake. They are all harmless to humans and distributed according to climate and habitat preferences across the country. The male worm slang can also be bright green, but they are larger, highly venomous and would normally occur in higher trees. Just for the record, there are no green mambas in Zambia. However, the green snakes, assuming that they allow a human to get close enough, which is unlikely, can show agitation by slightly inflating the neck and striking, but in most instances, they will just make a quick getaway amongst the twigs, leaves and branches. These snakes can be beautiful bright green or dull green. They can be spotted or not, having a yellowish or creamy colored underbelly. Enjoy the video featuring this exciting group of snakes. This is your uh, Western or Angolan, <laughs> Angolan green snake. Uh, you'll see it, uh, it has the habit of doing the same as whoop, the same as the boom slung and most of the tree snakes it inflates the first part of its body slightly when it's agitated and this one is quite agitated but it's such a beautiful green and if you can get close enough you'll see this beautiful blue tongue Philothamnus angolensis genus and species now this is unusual for this time of year, it's dry. We normally see many of these in the wet season. There you are. This one is a, a good sized one, a nice healthy one, probably a male, uh, about a 70, just over 70 centimeters. These can, can get to as much as 1.2 meters. And they are incidentally one of the very few green snakes in Zambia. There are no green, mam green mambas in Zambia none whatsoever. However, the further south, much further south, you do get the green Boomslung, which tend to be more of an emerald green rather than this uh, more leaning towards this lime green. Also one of the differences is the underbody body which is very light in color. And you'll also notice that when it inflates slightly inflates the first part of its body there you'll see the black scales uh, the black skin in between the scales and it slides uh, flattens its head slightly and it gets ready to do business very pretty snake very fast these snakes tend to frequent bushes rather than trees you you seldom find them very far off the ground unlike the Boomslung or the vine or twig snake and uh, they are very, very good at hiding and very well camouflaged. There you can really see the colouring of this snake now. He's got his neck slightly inflated and you can see the black skin between the scales. And they struck at me. You see at the moment that the snake feels as though it's cornered. He just wants to go. Just wants to go. It's not happy being around here because I am a creature that is much larger than the snake. So it's defending itself. 